Hi, mathematicians. Today we are going to be doing simple algebra, easy algebra. All right, we're going to do five problems, and let's get started. Let's start off with A plus 5 is equal to 15. What you're going to want to do is 5 minus 5, which cancels these out. And whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you have to do on the other, which is this right here. So we're going to do minus 5, and this is equal to 10. So therefore, A equal to 10, and 10 plus 5 equal to 15. Good. All right, next one is going to be a bit harder, but... We'll try and see how that goes. Okay, we're going to do B plus 18 is equal to 32. What you're going to want to do is 18 minus 18, which cancels these out. And whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So you have to do minus 18 over here. Cross this off, make it a 12. Cross this off, make it a 2. 12 minus 8 is 3. I mean 4, yeah, 4. Yep. Then you're going to want to do 2 minus 1, which is 1. So... 14 plus 18 is 32. So, therefore, B is equal to 14. Good. 14 plus 18 equal to 32. Good. Okay, next one is going to... We're going to try a little bit of subtraction to get you all familiar with that. All right, what we're going to do is Q minus 13 is equal to 7. So what you're going to want to do is plus 13 down here, which cancels these out. And whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you do on the other. So you're going to do plus 13. 7 plus 13 is 20. 20 minus 13 equals 7. So Q is equal to 20. So 20 minus 13 is equal to 7. Good. All right, next one we are going to try some more addition. Let's do some addition. Okay. We're going to do Z plus 18 is equal to 40. What you're going to want to do is 18 minus 18, which cancels these out. Then whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you have to do on the other. So you're going to do, want to do 18 minus 40. This becomes a 10. This becomes a 3. 10 minus 8 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. So z is equal to 22. Therefore, 22 plus 18 is equal to 40. Good. All right. Next one is going to be a little bit challenging. A little bit challenging. Okay, we are going to do D plus 54 is equal to 80. This one's a little challenging. You're going to want to do 54 minus 54 cancels these out. Then whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you have to do on the other side. So 80 minus 54 
this becomes a 10, this becomes a 7, 10 minus 4 is 6, 7 minus 5 is 2, therefore D is equal to 26. Good. So, 26 plus 54 is equal to 80. Good. This is going to be our last one for the day. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a challenge and see if you guys can get this before I can. We're going to do 200. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to put the letter. Sorry, guys. We are going to do F plus 300 is equal to 578. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is minus 300, which cancels this out, and whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you do on the other. So minus 300, eight minus zero is eight, seven minus zero is seven, 5 minus 3 is 2, so therefore F is equal to 278, 278. So 278 plus 300 is equal to 578. Good. Great job. We're going to do one bonus round just to get it in your memory. I want to make this super tricky. Not super tricky, but we're going to go into the thousands. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting to write the letter. C plus 3,489 is equal to... Let's do 5,000. 672. Okay, to get this, we have to do minus 3,489, which cancels this out. And whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So minus 3,489. Good. You can't. Do 2 minus 9, so this becomes a 12. You borrow from this right over here. This is a 7. This becomes a 6. 12 minus, I mean, yes, 12 minus 9, there we go, equal to 3. 6 minus 8 which you can't do. So you're going to borrow here. This is going to become a 7. 7 minus 8. You can't do that. So you're going to borrow from here. This is going to become um, a 4. This is going to become a 17. 17 minus 8 is 8. 4 minus 4, 0, and then 3. So your answer is C is equal to 3083. So 3083 plus 3489 is equal to 5672. Good job, everyone. Great job, mathematicians. I hope you have a good video. Practice all of this. I don't want you just to watch the video. Just practice a bunch of these problems, and you'll be fine. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.